So our model today is Mason, and we are going to keep the same basic surfer look, but just take some of the length off and clean up all the layers and texture, so it'll lay a lot smoother and just be a lot easier and more manageable. Um, before starting a razor cut, you always want to put some kind of cutting lotion in the hair. Without that, the razor can very easily rip through the cuticle and cause lots of frayed ends. Um, you should be holding the razor properly anyway, so you don't get that look, but a cutting lotion definitely doesn't hurt. To start with the baseline, we're going to use just the regular razor with the guard. And since he's got this nice curl that comes up, I don't want to fight against that. We're just going to gently slide one, two, three. What's nice about these razors is they do have a swivel on them, so you can get a lot of range of motion going all the way down, scooping into the hair, creating lots of texture without having to tweak your arm. And by doing the one, two, three method, you get a nice clean line but still having that little textured edge from the razor. And we're just gonna do diagonal partings. And because we're keeping his basic shape, I'm just gonna kind of follow the way the hair grows. See how much flatter it's already laying by removing all that weight and keeping a nice clean edge. Just going to kind of work our way around. our guide from the back, so we're just going to even out this whole section. textured, fun looks where you want a lot of movement, a lot of PC layering, and you do want to remove a lot of weight all at the same time, the razor is always good.
just cleaning up the ends because we're going to go back in with the nine and the six tooth razor and do a lot of texturizing and layering. And again, following the shape of how it grows, we're going to bring this forward. Just take off those little tiny ends in here. You don't want bangs that are too short, but we don't want them in the eye. All I'm going to do, just go right here and very lightly clean the ends. So we are going to go back through and texturize, so we don't want to remove too much. We're going to switch to the nine tooth texturizer and this is going to allow us to go in and add lots of texture and remove a little bit of weight more than we just did and get this to lay really nicely in here. And when you're holding a razor, any kind of razor, whether it's just a normal razor or a texturizing blade, you always want to cut above your fingers. You want to keep that tension on the hair, figure out where it is you want to cut, and then go in kind of dragging the razor toward that spot, pressing down lightly, and meeting your fingers. And we're following the basic parting technique that we used earlier, but we already cleaned up all the ends. This is all visual. We're just going in and feeling where we want little more texture, a little less weight, how we want it to lay, and just going in and sculpting the hair. And you can see how it takes every other piece, a little bit of a larger chunky type look, and it really gives you a nice clean edge taking out every other as if you're using a thinning shear. For this type of a haircut, I do prefer the texture blades over a thinning shear because I think it gives you a lot more control. You can see exactly what you're removing. And here through the red zone area, I'm only picking up the top pieces. We've already cut our baseline in here, so I don't really want to remove any more length. I'm just going to go in and add lots of texture right here on the surface. So you can see you still have the baseline. There's lots of texture in there. Really opened that up. You basically do a scooping motion. You lightly come in, drag it through the hair, don't go all the way through the hair, and then lift it back up before you get to your fingers. And by lifting it up, you're not taking any of that length, but you still removed a great deal of weight in between. 
on this very top section, I really want to remove less condensed weight, more individualized weight, where you can see lots of pieces going through the hair. So I'm going to switch over to the six tooth texturizer. It's going to take out a lot bigger sections to create a lot more texture. Same basic technique though, holding nice and tight, coming in however short you want them to start and just scooping out. One of the great things about this razor is that when you go through and do the scooping motion, instead of with any ordinary razor coming in and out, you can scoop with the handle by rotating it back and forward. You want to create a little bit of shorter kind of texturized pieces in the top here. So I am going to come up through the bottom and what this is going to do is kind of create a little bit of lift and a little bit of a scooping motion. So this will lay nice and under instead of sticking out any weird ways. So we're going to again scoop up, but this time meet our fingers. We're going to take off that little bit of length. And again, instead of coming straight up, we're going to scoop in. Rotating the razor, meet the fingers, and cut. So again, the traditional way to cut this top section, you would have to go in and scoop and really use a lot of your wrist muscles. But with this razor, you're able to only use your fingers, rotate and get the same range of motion without having to fully go in with your wrist. Again, I don't want to really remove any weight down here. You don't want this to drop too short above the eyebrows. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to scoop down once, down twice, come up underneath for the third time. And what that's going to do is give it a really nice variation in texture from the top and the bottom to really open it up without removing any of that length. So the benefit of having this rotating razor is that instead of when you get ready to go underneath having to take it off your hand, reinsert and come back underneath, all you have to do is rotate as you go under. You can see that a little bit better up here. Coming down and then rotating, coming underneath, and just completely following through. I don't ever have to remove it from my hand at all. So now, this is definitely a very visual cut, and I'm liking how all this texture is looking. All I'm going to do now is go in with the regular razor with a guard and just clean up some of these edges with a really cool twisting technique. this is going to do is kind of create some really soft little pieces. They're going to work with his curl and make this look a lot more complicated and intricate, but be very, very simple to style in the morning. Basically, by twisting the section, I'm getting a very uh, irregular layer. Depending on how you twist it, I'm twisting it over this way. So these pieces on this side are going to end up a little bit shorter as they rotate back to this side. And it gives it a very irregular, 
kind of fun textured look. Having this nice little pocket back here to stick your pinky in really makes it a lot easier to rotate. It kind of creates almost a pencil-like tool instead of a razor so I can go in and rotate any direction and have a lot of control without having to manipulate my hand or remove the razor and make it harder on myself. <laughs> 